What up, y'all? Knowledge the Raven, two four six eight, coming at y'all. Just uh, I want to first of all give all honor, glory, and praise to the Most High, to my Father God, Abba. Thanking them for another day that wasn't promised, you know, for me, my family, my friends, and even my enemies, and for those that's watching this video, also. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, first of all, I want to come at y'all, man, just to say, get comfortable. Get comfortable where you at, because supposedly we're supposed to be coming on a, a lockdown or whatever, but get when I say get comfortable, get comfortable with your kids. Get comfortable with uh, doing housework. Get comfortable with working out, uh, doing something spontaneous with your kids teaching them another way in life because when this is all over, when this when this blows past us, we got to keep on doing what we did while we on lockdown, supposedly. We got to keep on doing that. We got to keep on showing our kids that uh, fathers, it's, it's time to, to step up and, and be men of the house uh, in a major way. Mothers, it's time to step up and be the, oh, well, let me go back. Fathers, it's time to step up and be the king of the house. And mothers, it's time to step up and be queens of the house. And, and work together. Bring that relationship together, you know. Work with your kids together. Mothers, work with the sons. Fathers, work with the daughters. And then work together as a whole. And when those kids are asleep, when they napping or when it's bedtime, king and queen, it's time for y'all to come together and, and work out a plan. F figure out what your plan is, what your next move is, you know. Make it like a chessboard. Make your next move your best move and, and, and work together. And, you know, do y'all thing because now it's going gonna, it's gonna to test your will of how comfortable you can be with your significant other or if you don't have a significant other but you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend living with you or you got just your kids, whatever it is. It's going to test your will on um, how frustrated are you going to get uh, when you in the house for so long and you feel isolated and you feel like you can't do nothing you can't go outside you can't do nothing it's, it's going to test your willpower and for us that's been locked up that went to prison or uh, been to jail and been on lockdown we know what it's like we know what to do but some of y'all that haven't and that's not nothing towards y'all that don't know how to you know that's been working all your lives and ain't sat at home for 30 days straight or whatever the heck it's going to be this is going to test how strong you really are. It's going to test, you know, your faith. It's going to test. Your kids is going to, like, they're going to test you. Your, your, uh, your, your, your spouse is going to test you. And you got to stay strong. You can't snap on them. You can't uh, yell and cuss them out, especially if you're telling them not to do that. And then you you uh, you doing it. You ain't teaching them. Uh, you're teaching them, but you're not teaching them a good example because you're telling them not to do something that you do. So at this point, it's going to determine whether or not you are a true leader. Uh, we're all leaders by nature and we're all followers by nature also. But this is going to test the, the will of real true leadership. And, and the reason I talk about it like that is because, you know, this was given to me. So definitely don't be jumping down the kids' throats. Don't be jumping down your wife's throat, your spouse throat, you know, your, your uh, girlfriend throat, whatever it is. Don't be jumping on one another. Like, love on one another and respect and honor each other. Help each other. Teach each other how to uh, love each other. Teach each other how you want to be treated. And then you teach your babies that. You teach these kids that. So, this is going to test how comfortable you are. Like, I mean... Fellas, we can work out in our household, you know what I'm saying? You Women, we can work out in the household too. You ain't got to go to the gym to work out. You got a whole gym inside your house. It's all in your mind and your perspective of life. You can do push-ups in, in your living room. You can do sit-ups. You can do crunches. You can do all of these things, you know. You have everything that you need inside of your house. If you want to work out and you want to lose weight or you get frustrated, that's a therapy for you. You know, for me, that's therapy. Uh, also, like, for me, I like talking to folks. I like 
to uh, you know tell my story and I like to hear other people's story because it's therapy for me. It's therapeutic for me. I don't know what it is for you, but at the end of the day, whatever works for you works for you. But most definitely, you got to get comfortable with each other. I said it again, kings and queens, when them kids leave the house, y'all still going to be together. Y'all got to know how to deal with one another. And you can't be dealing with each other by putting your mouth on one another in negative ways. Because all you're going to do is run somebody off or tick them off if they don't know their own anger. If they don't know how to deal with that, then, you know, you got to be the one to step up and bring that down. And I know a lot of y'all probably tired of apologizing about stuff that you did in the past or that you didn't did. Choose to make the right decision. Stop making wrong decisions. Stop making rational decisions. When you get angry and frustrated, it's okay to shut up and just listen. It's okay. It's not going to be the end of the world. You know, it's all right to just shut up and listen. And not listen to respond, but listen to get an understanding when you're frustrated. And I didn't mean to be before y'all too long. I don't even know how long I've really been on this. But at the end of the day, I hope this helps somebody. I hope y'all share this with somebody. Yes, this is going on YouTube. So uh, this is going towards my story on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, whatever it is. Yes, it's going on there. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge. Be safe and work together. Talk to you later.